Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to basically complete the square for this expression here. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to read the question, have a go, and when you come back, I'll take you through the solution, methods involved, so you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, what we've got to do here is called completing the square. And if you're unsure of any of these stages, do check out my video tutorials on this. But what I'm going to be doing is showing you two ways that we could go about this. And uh, the first method is by completing the square. The other is by comparing coefficients. So we'll start with f of x equals 2x squared plus 8x plus the 3. Now, what we can do now is write an identical statement to this. I'll put identical to. And because it's not 1x squared or just simply x squared, we've got a number in front. What you do is you pull out that number in front of a bracket over these first two terms. I know some people, some teachers, teach pulling it out across all three, but I think you'll find it's easier personally, just to look at the first two. And two doesn't necessarily have to be a common factor of these values. You might find an example where this is 7x, for instance. You still will pull out two. So for this example, it's just going to be x squared plus 4x. Okay? And then we'll put the plus three on the end. Now, what we do next is we complete the square over x squared plus 4x. And by that, I mean that we set up a square bracket here and we have a curved bracket with x with squared there, I should say. And we put an x in there and we halve the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 4, so we halve that number and get plus 2. Now, when you square this out, you'll get the first term squared, x squared, so that's looking good, it's that. Then you get twice the product, that's 2x plus another 2x, which is 4x. But then you're going to get plus 2 squared, which is 4. And there isn't a 4 here, so we subtract it and then close off the bracket. So this expression in here, x plus 2 all squared minus 4, if you expand it, comes to just x squared plus 4x. So we've now got just that plus 3 on the end. So this is identical to this expression here, which in turn is identical to what you've got up the top here. Now we multiply out the 2 with each of these two terms in the bracket. So we've got 2 lots of x plus 2, all squared. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. And then you've got the plus 3. And cleaning this up further, you've got 2 lots of x plus 2 all squared and minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. So this is in the form that we were asked to give. The form p times x plus q all squared plus r. And we needed to state these values, find you know p, q and r. So if that's the case then we've got that where p would be equal to the 2. Q would be equal to the 2 here as well. And R would be equal to minus 5. We're adding minus 5 there. OK, so that's one way of doing it. That's the way that I prefer to do it. But the other way is by comparing coefficients. I'll show you. If we start off with the expression here that we're given, let's just write it in that we've, we're given p times x plus q all squared plus r. Then if we were to expand this, we would have p times the bracket expanded. So that's going to be x squared. Then you're going to get twice the product. That's twice x q or 2qx. And then plus the last term squared, so that's plus q squared. And then we've got plus the r on the end. Now, if I expand the bracket here, we've got px squared. And then 
plus 2pqx, 2pqx plus pq squared, and then plus the r. And this is to be identical to our function here, f of x, identical to 2x squared plus 8x plus the 3. Now, what I've got to do is compare coefficients. I can see that if I look at the x squared terms, let's just put it here, if I compare the x squared terms, I've got p must be 2. So we've got p equals 2. So that checks out with what we've got down here. If I look at the x terms, let's just put here x, then I've got 2pq, which is the coefficient of x here, must be equal to the coefficient of x here, 8. So we've therefore got 2pq equals the 8. But I know that p is equal to 2. We've just found that out. So therefore, if I substitute p as 2 in here, I end up with 2 times 2, which is 4. 4q equals 8. And if I divide both sides by 4, we therefore have that q equals 2. And that agrees again with the q here. All right. Just left to get r now. And what we do is we compare the constants. Remember, we've got two terms here. There'll be constants. So it's these two terms here which would equal the 3. So if we just put constants down, then we've got p times q squared plus the r must equal the 3. And Using our values that we've just found for p and q, substituting them in here, it follows that we've got 2 times 2 squared, that's going to be 8. 8 plus r equals the 3. And from here, if we take 8 away from both sides, we therefore end up with r equaling 3 minus 8, which is minus 5. So you've got your values of p, q and r. So an alternative way then of doing that problem. Of the two though, as I say, I much prefer this method. And do check out these kind of examples in my tutorials then under completing the square.